Hello everyone, I'm Fletch and today I'll be doing a challenge from uh, Governor 947 uh, and it's basically the 3R uh, challenge. But before I begin, I'd like to do a little shout out uh, in the spirit of Sport MVC to a fairly new channel. Uh, it's Wild on 2's vlog. Basically, he rides an Indian uh, dark horse or Indian chief dark horse and he has a lot of interesting content and also he has um, some really interesting views and topics that he talks about, uh, the latest of which is about uh, MCs and competition. Uh, I won't talk too much about it, uh, you just go ahead and check out his channel, I'll leave uh, the description in the cards above and in the description below. Uh, check it out, it's Wild on 2's vlog and uh, today again as I was mentioning I'll be doing a uh, vlog on the challenge which is called the 3R challenge and uh, I'll get into the details of which when I go on the road so let's take it on the road I'm on the road now and uh, I like to be doing this challenge, uh, and the challenge is called uh, the three hour challenge. And what it is, is that uh, what it is, is to list out the three uh, reasons why you got into riding a motorcycle. And it was actually uh, put up by Governor 947 uh, as a challenge, and I'm supposed to also. Uh, nominate uh, three people as well. So the first person I'm going to nominate is Prairie Boy 77. The second person I'm going to nominate is Chase the Ride. And the third person that I'm going to nominate is Joy on the Bike. So one of the first reasons why or how I got into uh, riding motorcycles was basically inspiration. I was inspired like everybody else by um, movies and you know as a child of the 70s the, the movies that have influenced me are um, the first one of course is, is uh, from Marlon Brando The Wild Ones uh, a really interesting take on um, the motorcycle club and uh, and obviously this is all from when just after World War II in the 50s where uh, the American soldiers brought back their motorcycles and, and learned to fix them and invent, uh, eventually formed up motorcycle clubs and so forth and The Wild Ones is one of them with Marlon Brando uh, the other movie that inspired me was uh, called The Great Escape right uh, I think that particular movie uh, in the title itself already says it all but it's of course with Steve McQueen uh, in a World War II movie about uh, these soldiers who were great skate artists and they were in the Nazi prisoner camp of war and how they escaped and both of them were riding both Marlon Brando and Steve McQueen were riding uh, Triumphs and the most iconic uh, movie that inspired me uh, was of course uh, Peter Fonda and Jack Nicholson's Easy Rider it was great to see them riding on uh, choppers uh, even though they were not really Harleys uh, I think they were custom made uh, bikes for the movie and Peter Fonda's uh, particular bike was called the Captain America which I thought was quite unique but movies being movies and your kids that's way before I could even get a license uh, but I think the other form of inspiration of course uh, is my dad uh, even though we had a car and everything else uh, he chose to take his little Vespa to work and let my mom take the car to work and I thought uh, that was pretty interesting and of course I had the chance to ride it around the car park then at a later stage uh, he knew of my interest and uh, taught me how to ride the bike uh, and so forth and of course uh, when I came of age at about 16 I took the test and got a motorcycle license to be able to ride uh, a motorcycle. So, in a sense, um, that kind of inspired me a lot 
um, to get a motorcycle. And of course, uh, when you talk about inspiration, uh, it's the TV also has a lot to do with it. You know, watching all the races. And uh, we also had a racetrack here in Singapore uh, in those days. And I would go out when I can and watch uh, the motorcycles race. So all that uh, formed a, a major uh, inspiration to me to get a motorcycle. And when I got a motorcycle, of course, uh, I rode the hell out of it. Um, one minor reason why I got a sports bike, uh, because my first bike was actually a uh, Kawasaki 750 uh, sports bike. Uh, one of the, I think, one of the largest CCs available in Singapore in those days. And uh, I thought that just like every other guy, that you'll be a chick magnet, right? You know, we were teenagers. I, I know I had my, when I first bought my own motorcycle, it was about when I was 20 years old, uh, after saving as much as I could in the military. And uh, from, from the wages that I got from there, uh, and I went ahead and bought myself that motorcycle. And uh, I rode it as often as I could. I used it to commute to uh, the military base that I was in. And of course, uh, on the weekends and Fridays, when they had, uh, when the Hard Rock first opened in the early 80s, uh, we would ride and park there in the hopes of, uh, you know, meeting up some uh, lovely ladies because. Uh, we were in, and we were in the impression that, yeah, riding a motorcycle would probably be able to meet ladies who are very interested in motorcycles as well. And hopefully, we we'll get a girlfriend, right? Now, the second reason why why I rode a bike uh, was more for the brotherhood, which is similar to the topic that uh, Wild on 2's vlog was talking about, uh, although he was mentioning more about MCs. But I think um, camaraderie and brotherhood and sisterhood in, nowadays uh, with the female riders uh, is, is an integral part of uh, riding a motorcycle. And I think I've had so many opportunities to meet up with so many motorcycle riders uh, and, and you know, the way our housing is done is that we always have dedicated motorcycle lots. So the chances of meeting a fellow motorcycle rider was pretty good. And so we made a lot of friends and, and I've had friends that I've known through my lifetime that we've gone riding together, touring together on our various bikes. Um, but it's not just that. I, I think the motorcyclists uh, in general are a more helpful bunch of people and why I say this is a little story because uh, when I was riding my dirt bike it was a Kawasaki KDX and, and you know two-stroke bikes had to you have to add 2T to it to be able to lubricate pistons and they had a little reservoir that you could put that in now I think one day when I was riding uh, I think there was something wrong with the pump and it failed to uh, I don't know, mix the two teeth with the petrol and my piston seized. Uh, luckily enough, I was uh, quick enough to clutch in and, and roll off to the side and then try and see what it was. But less than five minutes later, a motorcyclist would ride up and stop and ask if he could help. You know, and then another five minutes later, another one would stop. So I, I always thought that that was really great. They were a great help. Uh, they, they managed to help uh, solve the problem so I could get on the road again. And um, it, it's something that I've encountered over the years, whether it's in Singapore, Malaysia, or Thailand. And what I would do is I would return the favor. No matter where I am, if I'm riding and in the distance I see a motorcycle off on the shoulder, I would slow down and stop and offer my help because that's what we do. Right, the camaraderie of uh, and brotherhood and sisterhood of motorcycle riders will help each other out. And I think that's a, a wonderful thing. Uh, I mean, I don't expect it. Uh, you can't be riding whether you're alone in a group and expect someone to stop and help you. But the fact that they do, I think says uh, quite a lot. So 
camaraderie plays a really big part about it. Uh, and, and I think uh, the helpfulness of, uh, of all these motorcycle riders uh, uh, booms everyone. Now, before I get into point number three, I'd like to talk about point number three when I'm at my final destination. And I'm actually uh, heading off towards a place called Tanjong Ru. So once uh, I am at that location, we'll go ahead and talk about point number three. Right, I'm here now at my final destination uh, at Tanjong Ru. And one of the third reason that I decided to ride a motorcycle or inspired me to ride a motorcycle is this. To be able to go to different parts of uh, the world, and in this case, I can't go very much farther than Singapore because of the lockdown. And that's one of the reasons why I'm wearing this mask. Uh, as you can see, this is a particular river uh, at this place called Tanjung Ru, really beautiful river. Uh, it's not just for the beauty. There is also uh, lots of activities happening here uh, in the normal times, of course. And, and the activity that we're having here uh, like uh, canoeing, uh, dragon boat races. What a dragon boat is basically, uh, if you can imagine a Viking boat with 10 or 15 people on it rowing, and you have a guy on the drums and a guy on the on on bullhorn, uh, knocking out cadences, they can be rowing fast. There are races here every Sunday. Now, of course, besides the river and the activities, uh, if you look on the right-hand side here, we have the National Stadium, that little big dome there. Uh, and of course, we have uh, a little complex there as well, part of the uh, sports complex. And then further down, we have a nice little bridge that separates uh, this huge, beautiful condominium that is um, very Mediterranean style. So, so the third reason is to be able to go and see things. Uh, unlike riding in a, driving in a car, it's like transportation. It doesn't feel the same. You're restricted in the views. But on a motorcycle, you'll be able to see 180, you know, the, the thrill of which is there. Uh, and I don't know, for some strange reason, motorcyclists tend to be more uh, into going out and seeking new places to go. So this is one of the places to go. And a bonus would be that I could fly my drones here because this is a no-fly zone. So let's take a look from above. Right, folks, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If it's the first time you're here, please do click the like button and don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to let you know of the next video that I'll be putting. Thank you very much, folks, and have a safe ride.